video we are going to look at a question from gate 2019 metallurgy paper for this question you can use the NPTEL video modern construction materials lecture 2 review of atomic bonding 1 by dr ravindra gittu as a reference video the question is as follows hydrogen bonds are stronger than the given options are ionic bond metallic bond van der waals van der waals bonds and covalent bonds so before getting into the question we will start with the chemical bonding so to start off with chemical bonding are generally classified into two sections one is the primary bonds and the second one is the secondary bonds the primary bonds are further classified into three sections which is the ionic bond second is covalent bonds and third is metallic bond with respect to secondary bonds we have two bondings which is hydrogen and second one is a van der waals bond first let us start with the ionic bonding ionic bonds are the ones which are created by the transfer of electrons between the atoms to attain a octet configuration so example for ionic bond is the famous one which is the NaCl. Second one is the covalent bond. Covalent bond is a chemical bond that involves sharing of electron pairs between the atoms. And these electron pairs are known as shared pairs or bonding pairs. Bonding pairs. And the stable balance of attractive and repulsive forces between these atoms when they share electrons is known as a covalent bonding. And in general, uh, the electrons in the orbitals of different atoms have different energies. Hence, the bonding can also occur by the hybridization process where the orbitals overlap each other. For example, the hydrogen's atomic number is 1 which can be written as 1s1 so to attain an octet state such that to be 1s2 another hydrogen atoms comes and then they both share the electrons to attain an octet state and uh, they get it as and they get it as h2 which is 1s2 so this is the covalent bonding next we will move on with the metallic bond Metallic bond is a bond that holds atoms together in a metallic substance in such a way that if we consider a metallic object and there are atoms in it, these are the atoms which is being present and in each atom there is an outermost shell electron which is which has the least influence by the nucleus and these are called as the free electrons as because these are being least influenced by the nucleus due to various other factors these free electrons form a electron cloud and which has a force of attraction between the positively charged atoms and negatively charged cloud and holds the atom together to form a metallic bond so this is about the metallic bond the next bond which we are going to see is a hydrogen bond Hydrogen bond is nothing but an electrostatic attraction in between group that occurs when a hydrogen atom is bound to highly electronegative atoms such as nitrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, oxygen or else fluorine where it experiences attraction to some other nearby highly electronegative atom. The best example for this hydrogen bond is the water where the structure of the water i mean the bonding of the water can be written as oxygen hydrogen hydrogen where the oxygen is a highly electronegative one and hydrogens are electropositives one so another uh, h2 molecule comes in place where this is electronegative and hydrogens are electropositive there is a constant electrostatic attraction between this electropositive and this electronegative atom 
and this bonding is called as the hydrogen bonding and the fifth one is van der waals bond van der waals force is a weak electric force that attract neutral molecules to one another in gases or in liquefied state and it is a distance dependent interaction between atoms or molecules this force vanishes at longer distance between interacting molecules so to coming on to the answer as you can see that the primary bonds are the ones where they are going to share the electrons and the other two are just near electrostatic attraction and then um electric a weak electric forces which is going to act between them so the primary bonds are always going to be stronger than the secondary ones between hydrogen and van der waals bond the hydrogen bond is stronger and it is around 5 to 30 kJ per mole stronger than the van der waals bond so the option here is the van der waals bond because rest all are the primary bonds which are stronger than the hydrogen bond Thank <music> you.